Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to discuss more about automation. Hope you like my last video too. Uh, there is introduction to automation. So when we come to the automation, here uh, we are having three main components <coughs> in automation. That is uh, field instruments. Field instruments means uh, we are having different types of uh, sensors, measuring instruments, right? These are coming under the field instruments, okay? Like uh, some uh, <coughs> sensors like push button, toggle switches, proximity sensors, okay? These are all coming under field instruments, which are further connected to the control hardware. That is your PLC. And from PLC, you're connecting this to the control software. That is your SCADA or HMI, okay? So here you can have the overview of uh, field instruments. Okay, different types of instruments are available, push button, switches, optical sensors, etc., which are further connected to PLC from the machine. Okay, so which is uh, controlling your process, which is program, right? PLC stands for program ecology controller. So everything is running in your PLC, okay? So your project means uh, uh, your logic, okay? is running executed in your PLC, but how it is executing that we cannot uh, understand, right? that we cannot find out. So to understand that logic, okay, to monitor that data, okay, we can connect this to the control software that is a SCADA in which we are having some graphics, okay, pictures like walls, stands, palms, okay, different symbols we can use to create the graphics, okay. So SCADA or HMI, both are similar, but SCADA is just a software which we have to install in uh, our PC or laptop. From there, we can uh, collect data from PLC and we can monitor. <clears throat> and SCADA acts as a HMI, which is having uh, more features compared to HMI. Okay, HMI is a panel which, has, uh, which are connected nearby the machines. Okay, small screens are connected. Okay, and we're having some graphics in that too, but less features, okay, compared to STEM. Now, we discuss about the field instruments. Here, field instruments are of two types. One is digital and analog. Digital means on and off, right? One means on, zero means off. Only two status. Whereas for analog, it is more than one which is a uh, variable signal or which is also known as continuous signal, okay? Which vary, <clears throat> means increases or decreases, okay? So these are again divided into two types as a digital inputs, digital outputs, analog, analog inputs and analog outputs. Here are some examples for digital inputs. We are having toggle switches, right? All of switches are there. And push buttons, momentary switches are there, means when you press, it will be on, when you release, it goes off, right? <clears throat> then we have some limit switches, okay? Different types of sensors like proximity sensors, for example, capacitive, inductive, optical for different types of uh, metals, open okay, materials, glass, metal, uh, steel, okay? Different objects are there, right? So for sensing this, we have different uh, sensors which we are connecting to the PLC as an input to detect any <coughs> object, right? Then we have digital outputs which is operated by your PLC, okay? We are getting a signal from PLC output to control these outputs. That is, for example, we are having for display like we have LEDs, lamp indicators, motors. Motors are also digital. This goes on or off, right? That is <coughs> coming under digital. But when motor starts, okay, rotating, it is having RPM, that is your analog value. So this motor is having both the features, that is digital as well as analog, but how it is working is digital, means it's, uh, when the input is given, means the on, the motor starts, and when the input is off, motor stops. So it is going on and off. But when it is starting, what is happening? It is rotating, that is your analog signal, okay, analog value. RPM it is generated, right? So, <clears throat> similarly, we are having uh, 
pumps okay that is also going on and off and uh, sunlight walls right this is also like uh, relays okay uh, electromagnetic walls are there and uh, sirens or buzzers for area of falls okay and then have heaters for heating process okay in boilers etc so we are having different types of digital inputs and outputs there are some examples okay i'm showing whereas for analog inputs and outputs also we are having uh, some parameters like temperature okay pressure okay limit uh, level okay and uh, flow speed and the ph value density etc okay but these are measured using some instruments okay they are we are having some sensors for this here when we are measuring we are getting signals in terms of degrees centigrade degree fahrenheit for temperature for pressure bars psi right different units are there for different types of pressure the level also liters milliliters right meters etc so this data is non electrical signal this data is non electrical signal but for our plc unit electrical signal and that should be in a specified range okay should be in some range okay it should not be crossing those uh, means uh, those limits so we are having some industrial standards which is followed by all the industries okay that is for voltage or current okay we can take the signal in terms of voltage or current so for voltage we are having some uh, amplified range that is minus 10 to plus 10 volts or bit, within this limit only we have to use the signals it can be like 0 to 10 volts also it can be like 1 to 5 volt also for voltage if it is a current it can be from minus 20 milliamps to plus 20 milliamps or within this range only we have to use other <coughs> signals other ranges so we need to convert this non electrical signal to electrical signal using transmitters or transducers the transmitter is converting non electrical or physical quantity to electrical signal <coughs> or electrical quantity whereas transducer is vice versa means non electrical to electrical and electrical to non electrical or the physical quantity so like this we are converting our analog data using transmitter or transducers okay <clears throat> we are measuring analog inputs so when we come to the analog outputs we are using some pid loops pid means proportional integral derivative which is also known as feedback system where we are using the feedback of your uh uh put whether it is uh, for example i am taking a motor okay so motor is having say maximum speed of 1400 rpm but i want to control the speed up to 1000 rpm so that command i am giving from the controller so the controller is giving that signal to the vfd and from that vfd we are trying to control the motor speed so how you will know that It is exactly running with one thousand RPM, right? So it might be plus or minus, means uh, some plus fifty RPM or minus fifty RPM, less or more, or not only fifty, it might be more than that or less than that also. So <clears throat> that we cannot identify, that we cannot find out because there will be a fluctuation, right? Up and down, it will be fluctuating. So. we need to uh, control that uh, speed okay to nearest value like if i am giving 1000 rpm it should be at least nearby like 990 rpm okay like that so we have to remove that big errors okay using uh, proportional integral and derivative concept okay this is one algorithm uh, and we are calculating this uh, errors okay to a program and controlling the process okay and we are reaching uh, our nearest set point so that is how we are measuring the motor speed and we are checking whether uh, it is equivalent to your set point or not okay if it is crossing the 
set point or how much is the error that we can reduce by using integral and derivative. So integral and derivative. Integration means summation of errors that plus or minus uh, value which is uh, passing or <coughs> going under the set point. Okay, that we are measuring. Okay, that all those errors are added. Okay, summation of these errors and we get some nearest value. Okay, so with that gain, you can uh, reach the nearest point of the set point. Similarly, for uh, <coughs> derivative, if I want, if I derivative is with, with respect to time, means if you increase the time duration, okay, means we are taking more time here to reduce the error, okay, so that we can reach the nearest point here. But most of the uh, process are reached under p plus i concept only. In some cases, we have to use derivatives also. Then you can have uh, a view here, transmitter. It converts mechanical or con or physical quantity to electrical quantity, whereas the user is a vice versa. Okay, same thing, but vice versa. Transmitter means only one time convert and transmit. The stand user is doing both. Okay. We are having uh, some instruments for measuring temperature like RTD. RTD stands for resistance temperature detector, but it is defined as positive temperature coefficient. That means as temperature increases, resistance also increases. And uh, measuring units is in terms of ohms. Okay, so we are having different types of uh, RTDs here. So maximum temperature you can measure is up to 350 degrees centigrade. Okay, so between 0 to 350 degrees centigrade, we can measure 0 to 100 or 0 to 350 or 0 to 300, like that. So, in artery, we are not having any negative values, okay, no negative temperature, only positive coefficient. Okay, thermocouple. If I have to measure some temperature which is more than 350 degrees centigrade, also. Okay, in that range for that we have to go for thermocouples for higher temperatures. Okay, so we have different types of thermocouples as you can see E, J, K, and R is with different range of uh, temperature measurement. Okay, capacity. So here this thermocouples are made up of two dissimilar metals joined at two ends. One end is called uh, hot junction, and the one is called cold junction. So for these two junction, when the Hot junction means which is placed in the boiler, okay, it gets heated. So it generates a small voltage that is in terms of millivolts between this hot junction and the cold junction. Cold junction is which is outside of the boiler, right? So <clears throat> it generates a very low voltage in terms of millivolts that is again uh, that is again uh, amplified uh, to 0 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts or minus two plus okay any range that can be further measured in the PLC. Okay. So this is about the field instruments. Okay. There are different types of uh, components we are having in automation. <clears throat>